Hello, I am uh, Dr. Suresh Kumar and uh, welcome to my life page. So today I am going to talk about wildlife biology and uh, before that let me introduce myself. I did my bachelor's in uh, chemistry, botany, zoology way back in 92-95 uh, and there on I sought out for a course uh, that deals with uh, wildlife biology. So for my master's course I joined the wildlife institute where I work now. Uh, for a two years master's program and uh, following which uh, I went on to do my wildlife research uh, for about uh, 10 years and subsequently uh, being an academic field you ideally you need to take up a PhD. So I took up a, my PhD research on a very interesting uh, species which is the olive ridley sea turtles along the east coast of India. So it's been a rewarding uh, two decades, uh, you know, undertaking research on wildlife across the country. And I'm now working with the Wildlife Institute as a faculty in the Department of Endangered Species Management. And my focus has been primarily been on little known and uh, threatened species. Studying wildlife it could be studying birds, it could be studying animals, it could be studying plants, it could be even getting down to the level of uh, molecules. You know, you could be doing molecular biology work, it could be conservation genetics, it could uh, mean a whole lot of things. Uh, it could be understanding environment impacts on species, it could also involve uh, humans, it could also involve people, uh, their dependency on uh, forests their dependency on certain wildlife species. So it's a, it's a mix of all of these aspects that together is known as wildlife biology. Conservation biology. Now understanding species, trying to collect information on them, researching on them, ultimately it leads to protection of these species or conserving these species. So conservation biology is very important. Uh, aspect under wildlife biology. Questions like why we need to conserve a certain species uh, are the prime focus or uh, the main uh, areas that is dealt with. An interest for the outdoors, uh, going on long treks, uh, visiting wilderness areas and more importantly uh, your endurance because very often wildlife research uh, would mean spending long hours, several days out in the uh, outdoors for which you need to have a lot of patience and which will come with uh, your endurance. You contribute majorly to our understanding of nature, you are contributing to science. So your research uh, will be recorded history. And uh, 100 years from now, if somebody is taking up very similar research, they will be referring to you, they will be relating to your work, they would try and visualize what you had done at this point of time. So you play a very, very important role in uh, contributing to science. Funding opportunities for research is again very limited. Uh, very little funds available for a whole lot of uh, species that are waiting to be uh, studied. So again, whatever limited funds that are available, it's quite competitive. So you need to be really be at par uh, with the current happenings to get those grants. I have this opportunity to travel across uh, uh, the country and I get to uh, visit uh, different uh, protected areas and uh, and and so my, on an average, my day would involve uh, trekking around in, uh, in a protected area and uh, where there could be tigers and elephants and uh, dangerous mammal country. Uh, so there is an adventure that is involved. Uh, but at the same time, looking for your species is always a challenge. So uh, for me, every day is a new challenge. So I hope I have uh, given a very uh, balanced overview of uh, what a bio wildlife uh, biologist uh, uh, does. 
So uh, thank you very much.